hello 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 and welcome to express yourself healing through art it is sunday january the 17th 2021 i am your host pro manhattan and today we're going to just have fun we're just gonna make some painty paper that's what i call it uh we're gonna do some abstract uh mixed media collage sort of and uh, using household objects. And uh, I just wanted to take a day and chill. We've been going so hard with, you know, all through the holidays and everything else. And I thought today we would just take it easy and do some painting. I know there are a lot of live streams going on right now. Uh, Pete McDevitt's got the Browns versus the Kansas City Chiefs. He's calling that game. And uh, a lot of friends watching that. Got friends over hi hi lisa it's joey's world good to see you here we got friends over watching resort tv one who's doing an all-day stream uh from the magic kingdom and uh to be honest i'd be there if i wasn't here um if you're watching this on the replay thank you so much i love my replay viewers um you're just as important as people who come into the live leave me a comment down below replay squad i watched your video my volume is pretty low. Okay, let me turn it up a little bit. Turn it up, check, check. We'll turn it up to there and see how it goes. Um, I've been experimenting with uh, the volume. I need to get a better setup so I can monitor myself. Anyway, um, if you're watching the replay, leave me a comment down below. It says replay squad. Just a second. I got to fix this and get that more on the screen. Uh, which leads me to my next thing, right? It was right there. TheLivePlace.com, your TV guide for over, I think he said 90 different live streams every week uh, on the topics of travel, leisure, cooking, lifestyle, health, well-being, mental health, uh, companionship, uh, community, you name it, it's there. Um, so check out thelifeplace.com to find family-friendly streams. You can watch them with your kids or your grandma in the room. You're not going to have shocking content. Uh, it's not going to be anything you have to quickly mute or hide. Um, and it's all good fun. Um, I love being a part of the community with the Live Place. So many awesome people. So let's just get started. Um, today, and I know I've talked about it before, you can use anything to paint on. And today I'm using some popcorn boxes. Uh, my son loves popcorn. So I'm just going to open this up and I'm going to use the colored side of it. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. If you use this technique, it will work. And I'm just disassembling the box at the glue points. This is my canvas. So BFD, hi, welcome in. Uh, so nice to see you, I'm glad you're here. Um, you can use anything in the world as your canvas. I'm gonna take my scissors and just cut along those creases. And it doesn't have to be neat. We'll go ahead and trim it up after we, after our paint dries and our masterpiece is finished because I'm going to use these for cards again. I'm going to make a set of Valentine's Day cards with these. Uh, so, there we go. I've cut off on my extra edges. And we'll just toss those in my trash bag over here. And now we have this little piece of cardboard. Keith, yeah, had to see you. Okay, um, let me know if, if you can hear me or not hear me, or if I'm too loud or blowing out your speakers or whatever. And then the next thing we're gonna do, I buy packs of napkins at, say it with me, the Dollar Tree. And uh, so I have a pack here that I've already opened and I'm going to take one of those napkins instead of going through making just so and um, you can hardly hear me 
goodness. Well, I can turn it up. Whoops, I'm turning it down. Oh, I'm really blasting out now, I can tell. Let me turn that down. And we'll turn that up some more. And maybe you can hear me now? I'm in the yellow, so you should be able to hear me now. Um, all right. So I took the layer the napkin it's a two-ply napkin and I took off the top part the pretty part folding that up and we're gonna use this because it's just about the right size to that line the fold in the middle oh yeah I was watching that game uh, BDF and when I left it was 19 to 3 I think so yeah all right so there we go with that and then i'm gonna take some good old mod podge and let's see if i can get it without the glare mod podge and this is the mat but it can be any kind of mod podge glue whatever you want and i'm gonna put me a nice layer on there and then I've got me a nice piece of scrap cardstock here, or I could use one of these pieces of cardboard that I cut off the box, and I'm gonna use that to just kind of squeegee the glue around on the paper, and just woo, easy going. Just try to get it to coat all of that cardboard, and some color might show through but it won't matter because we're going to have we're going to be putting paint and other stuff on it too so there we go my fingers are sticky now but that's all right and then we're just going to lay this on top of it and this takes the place of art gesso and art gesso g-e-s-s-o um is a special kind of paint that you put down on a canvas to prepare it so it will soak up the uh, the paint better and we're just I like the texture of what the napkin does you can see the texture it's got wrinkles it's got imperfections I'm gonna take another piece of the cardboard that does not have glue on it and I'm just kind of kind of use that to smooth it out a little bit more I'm not dragging I'm dabbing see like this dabbing it all down you can hear me banging on my table probably there we go now you can use a blow dryer um, I want to show you a tool this is called a heat gun um, I got mine from Amazon you use this with stamping to emboss things. You use this. Hi, Carol Karki. Good to see you. You use it for if you're doing vinyl and stuff like that. What it does, it puts heat out like a blow dryer, but it doesn't blow as hard as a blow dryer. And I'm going to turn this on. It's going to be a little loud for a minute, but just for a minute. All right, and what I've done, it was just like maybe two, three inches above the, the wet part. It's not totally dry, but it's drier now. So the paint will stick a little better. So the next thing we're gonna do, and it's showing through a whole lot, and I'm not really happy with that, but we'll, we'll work on that. So I'm gonna get some of my white paint, and this is uh, rich art uh, acryl acrylology ac ac you can read it <laughs> it's acrylic paint I got it from Dollar Tree and I'm using one of my little plastic cups I got from Dollar Tree I get these over where they have the paper towels and paper plates and everything and they come in a pack of 12 of them and they're so handy 12 of them for a dollar and um, 
so and I'm gonna use a brush and I'm gonna get another one of these ready with some water I keep water keep hot water in my uh, studio now because I like to make tea while I'm sitting here so ooh, that's really warm water too. get my brush a little damp wipe it off get some of this white paint and we're just going there we go Lisa yes repurposing I am so big on repurposing and I think it's a wonderful thing to do for many reasons one it keeps stuff out of the garbage or recycling I don't know about your area in my area they're having problems with recycling because the places we used to sell all of our recyclable waste aren't buying our recyclable waste anymore um, and so it's piling up and it's ending up in the landfills anyway uh, also in this age it's harder to get things to recycling centers if you're like me and you're pretty much a homebody you don't get out much so and third um i have plenty of cardboard my son <laughs> my son loves popcorn <laughs> and frozen pizzas and cereal and so we have lots of these boxes around and uh may as well put them to use you know and so that's what i do okay we've got a nice white background here it's not really thick but you see how that layer of napkin kind of helps absorb the white paint and makes it stick just a little bit better so there we go with that let's see let me yep just so is a primer for campus can canvas bdf exactly and i usually make my own um I use white paint and glue and a little uh, cornstarch or powder, but I just didn't feel like, ooh, go Kansas City, all right. Uh, I didn't feel like making any today. So there we go. And I've made a mess over here, but it's great because I have this whole stack of napkins over here I can use to clean up my mess. All right. Um, I wanted to try this I've seen this done in so many videos I've got some red paint here and I have some white paint left over I'm gonna make some pink paint first and I'm gonna use just a cotton swab and we're gonna mix this up and we've got our just gonna mix it up mixy 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 and then I've seen this done it's uh, with string and I've never tried it before so we're gonna try it it's gonna be messy I'm gonna get my hands a little messy I'm sure but uh there we go nice little kind of a carnation -y salmon pink and so I'm just gonna leave that cotton swab in there cuz I'm gonna use it but I've heard of this done. I've got just some cotton twine here, cotton string. And I'm going to cut myself a piece of it. Now this could look wonderful and this could look not so wonderful. But you know what? I don't care. And I'm loosely winding this so it will fit down in my little cup. I'm going to keep a hold of one end outside of it. So you see I've put it down in the cup but like a little snake. I've got the corner right here. I'm just going to push that down into that paint and get it all covered with the paint except for my little end there so there we go and I've got it see it's all immersed down in that paint I'm gonna let it sit there for a minute just kind of dab on it let it soak up some paint then I'm gonna grab my end and carefully pull it out oh and it got wrapped around my q-tip yay so there we go and see I've got the string covered with paint and so I'm gonna lay it down on my canvas 
and then I'm going to pull it. And let's see what this does. Ooh, I like that. Let's try this again. Maybe it, see how much paint it has left on it. Let's pull it this way. That's a neat little abstract. Let's get some more paint and see what it does. Let's put it down in the paint again and do a little tamp, tamp, tamp. Rachel, my darling, how are you? So good to see you. I think about you all the time in those ears. All right, so. Whoop. Let's get some going this way. See what this does. Yeah, that's very interesting. I like that. It's very, I like this over here. I bet with some more practice, I could get it where it looked like flowers. But that was a fun little technique I wanted to show you that I wanted to try. Now I'm going to put my heat gun on this. I'm going to mute myself for just a second. Um, oh, Rachel, thank you so much. I'm so glad you like it. Yeah, I had a lot of fun last night. I got to sing on a stream. I sang with Isaac Nail, and uh, while well, he played guitar, and uh, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. I'm 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 going to be singing a lot next month. But hold on, let me mute myself, and I'm going to run my heat gun real quick. Was it was it good, Karki? I was worried it, it wasn't going to be, you know, the best. It's kind of hard when you're dealing with StreamYards because you 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 don't know if you're delayed. You know, timing is is everything. But I have to tell you, you know, I've been I've been in a little bit of a depression the last week or two. If you watch me regularly, you you know you've seen it. And uh, last night, being on the stream and getting to sing and hang out with such wonderful, positive people. Um, everybody in that stream, uh, the, the chat, uh, that's why I love Shep streams is it's all so silly and happy and positive and family. And I really love that about Shep streams. And so getting to sing, it really, it, it moved me. It meant so much to me. All right. So we've got some pink, we've got some white. Let's do, let's make this a little darker. Let's see, what have I got over here? Uh, let's give it a couple drops of black and let's darken it up just a little bit. Let me get over here. This is just my black chalkboard paint that I got at the um, Dollar Tree also. I'm limited on what colors I really have in here, so. I'm just using what I have. No sense wasting this paint. Let's see what else we can do with it. Oh, that's nice. It made kind of a gray, a rosy gray, I want to say. Let me get it up here. There we go. Made kind of a rosy gray. And I think I want to make, it's almost a purple. It's, it's funny. It, it kind of came out a purple purpley gray and I think I want to use that I think I'm actually going to pour that in a flatter dish and um, there we go and that way we haven't wasted 
any paint even though it's from the Dollar Tree I'm just extra thrifty and uh, so let's see I'm got an old pill bottle here why not right and we're just gonna dab this and kind of scrape a little bit on the end let's dab and let's use a piece of scrap paper here here we go I got some green paper thank you so much Rachel and we're just gonna do a little blot to get the big drippies off there we go oops I'm gonna need to get some more back on it and let's just do some circles there we go just some abstract little circle-y thingies and for this we're we're not going for high art you know this is just being creative this is putting paint on a piece of cardboard and I promise you if you if you were with me back in when I first started this this Lindo Car Caretto Linda Linda Caretto there we go hi Linda welcome in so glad you're here um, when you cut it up you don't see the individual parts anymore you just you get the colors if you were with me when I first started streaming on Sundays um, I did a couple streams where I did these I made the painty papers and then, and then the next stream I um, turned them into cards and I actually gave those cards as a Christmas gift to someone and they were very appreciative all right let's see how light we can make this now let's lighten it back up with some white in our purpley gray and see what happens then oh it's getting a little more purple see there it's more of a lavender but I want to make it let's put another couple drops of red just for fun this is really the place where your inner child should come out there's no grown-up rules with this no grown-up rules you just do what you feel like doing and you don't have to ask anyone's permission or anything that is still the same color so I'm gonna set these aside because I want to get back to the red let's get back to some bright red let's just put a little bit of red there we go got just some bright red here I'm gonna use my little q-tip to kind of spread it out in the tray and let's see what have I got over here I got this this is a little cardboard tube and we're gonna make some little dots with some red and I'm just tapping it in there and got some red on there you can use a toilet paper roller you can use sockets out of your toolkit I've done that because the blessing is acrylic paint washes off with water as long as it's wet and if it's dry it will peel off of most things um, We got some pretty red going there and I'm gonna wipe that off and then once this dries I can use it for a different color paint and that paint won't come won't bleed off into it 
All right. It still needs, you know, got some yellow here. I'm going to do some yellow. We need something bright. So let's do a little yellow. But we're going to lighten it up just a little bit and that yellow is um i have it in a one it's a craft smart acrylic this comes from michael's it's about a buck you know it's it's along the same lines as the apple barrel from walmart which is the red that i'm using is an apple barrel from walmart it's all very inexpensive um if you prefer they also have tempera paint now at dollar tree and uh, next week I'll be doing my top 10 Dollar Tree craft supplies I cannot live without. Yes, I am Pearl Manhattan Productions on Spotify. Yes, sir. I certainly am. And uh, in fact, if you go to www.pearlmanhattan.com BDF, I have a page called Discography, which links all of the music because I also write under the name Armadillos After Dark and I have a few releases under Maggie Road Revival and there are links to all of them in Spotify and iTunes on my Discography page, except for my most recent Christmas album. Um, but yes, I am the Pearl Manhattan Productions on Spotify. I'm Pearl Manhattan or Pearl Manhattan Productions on most social media too. Oh, this is a makeup sponge. You get a pack of them, about 25 or 30 of them for a dollar. And these, this is, it's bending. So I'm just letting it kind of slosh a little bit. get some because it needed a little contrast in there Ooh, I wonder if I put the string on it now well thank you so much BDF I hope you enjoy the music I love writing the music I'll have some more coming out probably in March because next month I start a project called February Album Writing Month. I did a video on it uh, last week um, and I'll be putting out some new music probably in March. An album in honor of my 55th birthday. I'm gonna be 55 years old. Can you believe that? I can't. Um, hmm. There we go. Now, while it's still wet, I'm going to take these napkins and I'm going to separate it again. It's two ply. I'm going to take the two plies apart, but this time I'm going to hang on to this one. Okay. But I'm not going to use the hearts. I'm going to use the other side because it's just got pink lines. I'm going to lay that down on top. Because like I said, I really enjoy, and this is just a dry brush, I really enjoy the way the napkin falls and the wrinkles and everything else. Although those little circles are looking a bit like blood, aren't they? Eek. Um, all right. And I'm going to take a little bit of the water that I rinsed my brush in with the white paint and just kind of go over this napkin a little bit. In fact, I'm going to use the big brush since it's already wet and it's not soaking wet. It's just damp, but I'm just going to kind of dampen it and then dampen this napkin layer that I've put down.
59. You're older than me. BDF. Not by much, just by a few years. I didn't realize we were so close in age. I never guess at other people's ages because I know I don't look my age, so I never want to insult someone or, you know. <coughs> I'm real transparent about my age, but some people aren't. And so, um, yeah. And another plus about getting this wet is once it gets wet, it just rips right off. So you have this extra. And you still have your little hearts and everything right there. And then, hmm, what else can we do to this? Hmm. Let me use this napkin that's left over. Let's see. Which, which song? Let's see. Pete's watch party theme. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, right now that belongs to Pete. So you'll have to watch his streams to, uh, to, uh, to hear that song. And the problem comes if I release it and make it purchasable, <clears throat> then it'll flag Pete's streams. And, uh, right now that's, that's Pete. I wrote that for Pete. Um, I do write channel music for people though, and uh, I don't charge a whole lot of money. Um, so there we go. I feel like it needs something else. So let's dig in here. Let's grab this other, other set of napkins or, no, I know what, I know what. Hold on a second. I've got some red paper here, or, hmm, no. Ah. Uh, hmm, what else do we need? Hmm, we'll just sit and think about it for a minute. Because I'm, oh, here we go. I've got a stamp here. And this is a, a rubber stamp on a wooden block. And I don't use this for stamping ink. I usually use this with watercolor paints on it. But this time, um, let's, let's put a little red paint on this stamp. Let's put some flowers on this stamp. I need some flowers on our project here. I'm just going to lightly paint a little bit of that red paint and let's put it there oh yeah see and we have and there we go um but i uh i am going to be doing some more vocal work i know a lot of my songs right now aren't very vocal um because the fibro and the PTSD, sometimes my voice is not recordable. I'll just put it that way. The anxiety uh, that I suffer from has a lot of effect on my voice. And uh, that's why last night's stream, Singing with Isaac, was so... Oh! Helpful to me. Uh, because I wasn't worried about how I sounded. I wasn't worried about anything. I just, I truly love that song. All 99 verses of it. And I love singing. And uh, singing with Isaac is something I have wanted to do for a very long time. So uh, I was more than happy to be able to sing with Isaac. Um, he's very musically talented. I don't know if you've caught him on his Instagram streams. But uh, he plays the drums and he will set up his camera in uh, before the service on Instagram Live and he'll do Instagram videos of the church service of him playing his drums. And uh, he's a very talented young man. Um, 
And Shep really has a nice singing voice. He goofs around a lot, but a lot of that's for the stream. A lot of that's for the camera. Um, he really does have a very nice voice. And um, it is a cathartic song. And um, I like the, the last two verses, especially of the 99. They're not done very often. Uh, in fact, now I'm blanking on who wrote it originally, but um, he's usually the one who does the, the, the last two verses. They're not the ones that you, you hear on uh, most people doing. Um, but yeah, there are literally 99 voices and verses he wrote for that song. Um, and it's, it's, it is, it's a very, very beautiful song. And if you want it to be a religious song, it's a religious song. If you want it to be a spiritual song, it's a spiritual song. In fact, the last verse talks about, you know, um, I did the best I could. I hope you like it, but I'll stand before the Lord of song and this will be my hallelujah, you know, and uh, it takes it, you know, into more of a personal uh, songwriter's hymn, <laughs> a lyricist. So there we go. And honestly, I think that's all I want to do with it right now. Um... And once I cut it up into smaller pieces, um, it will, uh, it's our abstract little painting. And that's what we do. I am too. Rachel, I got an email from a cat today uh, reminding me about it. And yes, I'm very excited about it. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to get started on it probably in a week here and I'll have it ready to mail out probably the third week of February is what I'm shooting for so here we go with this I wanted to show you a couple other things um yeah they do don't they they just put that little thing on it um I wanted to show you a couple other little things that I have been working on I've been teasing them on my Instagram let me find them Good golly, Miss Molly. Oh, there they are. I have been working on... And I know Lisa is like, here, take my money. <laughs> Lisa wants these real bad. All right, BDF. Thank you for being here. Um, what's the score real quick? Let me know how the game's going. Um... These are, uh, these are uh, my new Haunted Mansion series cards. And this is an embossed background. It's got a lot of sensory to it. Uh, it's embossed and then I inked the black onto it. Then we have a, a green frame with a little skeleton bow. And then we have silver hologram mirror there. You can see it's a, a mirrorish texture, but the hologram makes it look very haunted mansion, kind of ghosty. And then this one has the lady, Brown 17, Chiefs 22, fourth quarter. All right, well, come on, Chiefs, hang in there. You just got a little bit longer. Thanks for being here, BDF. It's really nice to see you, Keith. Um, this one's got the from the stretching room. This is the la lady with the umbrella. And then this one is the top hat ghost. And this one is a crypt with some ghosts and a raven and everything. This one is our bride hurry back and then here is Madame Leota's crystal ball 
And then this one is a raven outside of uh, another crypt in the graveyard. So these are the six cards I've made so far. And what I'm thinking of doing is making a set of maybe 12 or 18, probably 18 of these. So there'll be three of each little, uh, little portrait in the middle and then making a custom box for them to go in. And uh, I think the set will probably go for $20. Um, I have to secure some more of this silver hologram paper or I'm gonna have to just go with sil regular silver uh, mirror paper. But I really love the hologram and what it does to it. <laughs> And the box is going to be in the same style as the cards. So, um, but yeah, it'll be $20 for 18 cards in a box. And, um, but they take a little bit of time to make. They're not as easy to make as some of the other cards. But uh, in that same respect, I'm also working on a set of uh, the Animal Kingdom cards, Safari cards. Uh, I'm also working on a set of the Pixar Toy Story area, and I'll be doing different rides uh, around the different uh, different parks in Walt Disney World, and uh, there'll be themed cards for that. Um, well, and that's that's the tough thing, Rachel. Is I don't I can't make. A card that is a Disney character uh, to sell because that's Disney's property but I can make them in the style so it might you might get uh, a card that looks like Donald's jacket you know it'll be the idea of Donald Duck the idea of Mickey Mouse also I wanted to share I got some new paper and this paper is called Simple Stories, but if you look, like, let me show you this one here, and it's going to be sideways, but I think you'll get the idea. This right here, you instantly think Mickey Mouse when you see that. Best ride ever. Um... The adventure starts here. Autographs. Can I have your autograph? Happy day. Best place in the world. Uh, so magical. Um, the big cheese. Who's the big cheese? Well, it's... So I can use this and make... Uh, I got this paper from a place called Tuesday Morning. Um, it's Simple Stories Say Cheese. Simple Stories is the manufacturer. And I also have the fireworks on one side. And then this says ticket for one, free wish with a little castle on it. Let me see if I can get this up here so you can see all this. So those are the tickets. And um, then we have this side these are big card fronts pre-made card fronts magical must-haves rides treats and you can see if you look at the treats obviously you know that's Mickey Mouse and then the other side of that is just the big white and red um, Tuesday morning, that's where, uh, that's where I got this. That's where I get most of my supplies is Tuesday morning. Um, oh, and speaking of Funkos, I haven't, I forgot to show you guys these. I have my very first Funko Pops. These are my Funko Pops. And uh, I got them at Big Lots. Um, and I'm so excited. And yes, they are addictive. Once you buy one, you instantly catch yourself. Well, I catch myself. Let's be transparent here. I catch myself 
surfing the web, looking at Funkos and going, okay, well, I'm in the Disney set. Let's see what other Funko Pops are there in this set and what's number two and all that other stuff. So uh, for right now, this is going to be all I have. I'm controlling my shopping habit, but I was so happy to, to buy these. And yes, I'm keeping them in the box. And this is the backs of the box. They've got the listings of what else is in the set. Um, yeah, I showed them on my Instagram. I made an Instagram video. And then, uh, and one last thing, and then I'm going to wrap it up and let y'all go. I won the ears that Steve made in the uh, Give Kids the World auction. I gathered together my pennies and I bought these ears and I just want to say Steve is a testament to how easy it is to make your own ears um, like mine there's a, maybe too much glue uh, but he admits that too but um, they're so well made and this little piping around the edge they're just perfect in their simplicity um, Oh, I have tons of the tiny figurines. I'll show you those too, Rachel, while you're here. This is my latest obsession, and I get these at the Dollar Tree. But I have Nemo and Dory. And then I have, oh, and I have, um, from that set, I have Nemo, Dory, and Squirt right there. And then I came across this. I love these. Where is he? Where are you? There he is. I got the whole set. Nope, nope, we need to go this way. The whole set. Mike Wheeler, hello, welcome in. We're looking at my little figurines. I'm showing off. I have the Incredibles set of figurines. And um, I've got Mr. Incredible, Elastigirl, Violet, Dash, and Jack-Jack. I really wanted Jack-Jack. But then I figured once I found Jack-Jack, I was like, well, I might as well buy them all. And then I have uh, three different Mickeys. And, oh, I have Sully and Roz and Mike Wazowski. Where are you, Mike? Wazowski. And I have, whoops, I have Boo. Look at Boo. Look at her. Isn't she cute in her little monster costume? Um, and then I have Woody and Buzz from Toy Story and then I have a Minnie Mouse and a, a Pluto so this is my latest obsession um, I need to uh, I'm going to find or make a little shelf so I can put all these in the little display and uh, to show them off I don't know if I'm going to leave them in the packages or take them out at this point, but uh, that's my latest collecting obsession. Uh, Lisa, don't be sorry, sweetie. Dinner's important, trust me. Um, I'd be in and out if I didn't have a caregiver right now. So, um, and that's that's a good thing. Coming up this week now on the live place, it is a big top 10 collabathon. Uh, there's what 39 channels I think uh, who are participating and they're all do featuring a show this week from tomorrow until the following Sunday on top tens and my top tens will be Wednesday we're gonna do my top 20 top 10 songs of 2020 <clears throat> I hope you'll come al come along and feel free to drop in your top 10 songs of 2020 and that is Wednesday at 12 noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Then on Friday, we're carrying on with our chatting about autism. I am enjoying that live stream. I really am. It's, uh, it's nice to have 
so many people come in and participate and um, you know community is important um a car key that's what I was thinking too when I was looking at him was like yeah I can put them on my birthday cake um and so chatting about autism we're going to be talking about the my top 10 autism myths and I invite you all to email me with your autism myths at pearlmanhattanmusic at gmail.com and uh let's let's hear your autism myths too uh because i know we we have a lot of them collectively uh and i will keep it positive it's not going to be a negative uh rag on people's opinions show uh it's going to be the top 10 myths that i've had experience with um and we're going to keep it light and positive uh, and then that's also at Friday at 12 noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Uh, and then Sunday, next Sunday, we'll be talking about my top 10 crafting must-haves from the Dollar Tree. And this is from the whole store. There are things in the kitchen department that I like to use. There are things from all over, like these little cups I was telling you about. They aren't in the crafting department. Um but uh i'll have my top 10 crafting must-haves from the dollar tree and that's going to be a fun show too i thank each and every one of you for being here with me today our time is our most precious commodity and that you've chosen to spend some with me whether in the live or a replay viewer i love my replay viewers leave me a comment down below replay squad hey how you doing good to see you whatever um, and I love commenting back to all my comments. I'm two subscribers away from 325. Uh, so if you have a friend that you think would be interested in my content, show them my channel and let them see what they think. Um, I am proud of what my channel is doing. I like my rate of growth. I'm growing proportionally in watch hours and subscribers. Uh, and when it comes down to it at the end of the day, if I've helped one person, if I've given one person some comfort, some support, or some inspiration, then my job is done. Um, the fact that there are so many of you who listen to my music and love um, love my music. Uh, Linda, my son, my 15 year old son who has autism, that is his favorite place in the world to go is Dollar Tree. And when we go to Dollar Tree, we go up and down every aisle and he likes it that he can just grab what he sees and throw it in the basket. He knows that, you know, the sky's the limit. And, uh, that's, he loves shopping there which I'm, I'm a lucky girl for that. I'm a lucky mom for that. <laughs> My pocketbook's lucky for that. Um, but um, he gets a lot of snacks and stuff there too. And uh, I like that the Dollar Tree in their freezer section, if you have one near you with a freezer section, they, are have, they have more and more vegan options. And I am vegan for medical reasons, not for activism reasons, uh, but I am vegan. And so anytime I can find vegan choices at a bargain, it's, it's wonderful. Um, all right, dears, thank you again so much for being here. Peace and blessings upon you, upon all you love, and upon all who love you. Find your passion, grab a hold of it, and don't let anybody talk you out of it. Doesn't matter if you die rich, it doesn't matter if you die famous. Uh, it matters if you die loved and it's not about the destination. We all know where the destination is. It's about the journey and uh, Remember your self-care make yourself smile this week and um, Go check out Pete McDevitt. Go check out Resort TV one. Make sure you check out. It's Joey's world. They have inspirational videos um, every Monday. They have Monday motivation every Wednesday. They come out with a new video. Joey is my inspiration. Joey is Joey is 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 so much to me. Um, Y'all have a good week, and I love you dearly. And I will see you soon.